Yeah, sure. Hi, James. How um, are you? Just wondering how you're feeling about leading Ireland out in Twickenham. Yeah, uh, huge honour for me. Um, so I'm looking forward to it. Um, you know, probably the great thing about it is I won't be on my own. Uh, you know, there's guys like you know, Peter Mahoney there, uh, Hendy, Earlsy, you know, huge amount of experience. Johnny's been in, he's in for, for the week as well. Um, so, you know, we very much be driving things together this week, uh, you know, as we usually would. Um, so it's, a, it's, a, it's an exciting week for, for all of us. Just wondering how much do you rely on those sort of older heads for advice when you're facing such a, such a, a big outing, I suppose, to lead out it? Yeah, massively. Um, you know, even when Johnny's captain, you know, we... I said you so far uh, this week. Can you hear me? Even when Johnny's captain, you know, we tend to, to drive the week as, as a collective. Uh, there's a kind of a core group of us. Um, so um, it's it's the same as it is uh, this week. Um, but certainly having guys, as I said, like Pete, Andy, Earlsy there, um, you know, will make my job a lot easier. And just finally for me, um, obviously there was some positives uh, against Wales, but Twickenham, we haven't had much uh, success there in recent outings. Will that be our performance there, be more a, a realistic assessment of, of where Ireland is now at this moment? Yeah, as you said, it was a good performance against Wales. Uh, this week is obviously a, a big step up. Um, you know, we, we know we'll have to be a lot better again. Um, so I think, yeah, we'll get, we'll, uh, we'll get a good realisation of where we're at. Hi, James. Um, I know you said you'll have the other older, experienced players there around you, but you're still the guy that's going to be leading them out. Like, what is that pressure? And are you ready for that pressure of captaincy? Uh, to be honest, it's the same for me this week as it is every week. Um, you know, I've got to look to do my job really effectively. Uh, you know, hope to play well not get sidetracked with, with all the captaincy stuff uh, because you know I'm going to need to get my performance right just like everybody else is going to need to get the performance right you know, in order for us to, to get a result this weekend. So. Yeah, there have been damaging defeats between you know, our England Saracens over the last number of years. Is there now a, a real fear factor going to Twickenham? Um, there's probably a little bit of fear in every test match you know, at this level, whether it's going to Paris or going over to Twickenham, um, because the level is so high, you know it's going to take such a big effort uh, to get what you want out of it. Um, so there's always a little bit of fear, uh, but there's also a lot of excitement. You know, it's a huge opportunity for us, um, and you know, we're all massively excited uh, for it. James, will Ireland need to be less predictable on Saturday if they want to surprise England? Yeah. Um, I suppose we're, we're always look we're always working on that unpredictability. Um, I think that's an area of the game that definitely uh, looks good against Wales. Um, you know, it's important we have that variety in our attack. Uh, so this week is, is no different. We're going to need variety. We're going to need that bit of unpredictability. Unpredictability, as you say. Um, so you know, it's no better test than in the Twickenham to see where we're at this weekend. And as the game, and as your game is developing, game plan is developing, does that give you a lot of encouragement, say, last Friday, that you're getting into positions to, 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 to score, but you're just not taking those yet? I mean, you've got to just be that a little bit more clinical. Yeah, that was probably the one overriding theme from, from the French game, that we, you know, we created opportunities through pressure, which was, which was great, but you know, we weren't clinical enough. We didn't take the opportunities that were given to us. You know, I thought that, was, uh, that kind of clinical piece was, was definitely better on the weekend um, and it's going to be better again this week because we know when we get into the English 22 that we're going to need to come away with scores um, so that's definitely uh, an area of the game that's right at the top of our agenda this week James, Ireland's record at Twickenham hasn't been great recently, but does that matter this weekend when there's no crowd or atmosphere in the stadium? Is it, if you like, a different vent? Probably a little bit different as well. I think, you know, you've got to be conscious as well. This is a, a new group for us. Um, you know, it's a new chapter. Um, you know, how many guys have made new caps recently? Obviously, it's a new coaching group. Um, so, yeah, we, 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 came, uh, we came on the wrong side of the result last time out, uh, but... I think, um, you know, as a group, we're making good progress. Um, and, uh, yeah, as I was saying earlier, you know, this weekend, it's a, it's a real test to see where we're at 
coming up against you know the World Cup finalists. Um, so yeah, it's a it's obviously a, a big challenge. What does it say about this, your group's resilience, though, that you were able to deal with having to use three out halves against Wales, and yet you still played so well throughout the game? Out half is normally a position that relies so much on control and organisation, yet you were able to deal with that. Yeah, exactly. Uh, it was a, it was that head half. It was the same in the second row. Obviously, Ian Henderson pulled out, and you saw how well Quinn Rue did. Um, so there was you know seamless transition there across the board. Um, so that was one of the most pleasing aspects of, of last weekend, and you know that's what we're trying to drive at the moment. Um, you know everything is a squad effort, and um, you know if guys pull out late, everybody's got to be ready to, to fill in, and that's kind of the way we train as well. You know everybody's involved, um, so that you know if these things do arise, everyone's ready to, to go. Yeah, I was just saying, um, just looking back at that England game last February in Dublin, like just the amount of kind of the, the intensity that England brought to that game and then the kind of smart game plan as well, it's almost going to be something that you guys are going to have to replicate going away, playing against them at Twickenham. Um, you know, you're going to have to bring a similar type of intensity, aren't you? Yeah, when we played them last February in Twickenham. Um, yeah, of course, we're going to need intensity, obviously. Um, you know, set piece and defence is massive uh, for us this week, and I think it. It's huge at this level, especially going away from home. Um, you know, the Oakland game that we lost, obviously we didn't start well. Um, so, you know, we got to start well at this level. We got to start well going away, playing England and Twickenham because, you know, if you give a side like England um, momentum, they're very, very hard to stop. So, um, you know, they're areas of the game that are, you know, really big for us this week. Um, yeah. Just the last one for me is just coming up against someone like Mara Matoje. I know it's like the one that's always kind of shown out there. I suppose you guys playing in that same position as well. But, um, you know, what are the biggest strengths that he has and the, the threats that he kind of brings to your team at the weekend? Yeah, he's a serious player. Um, like, they've got serious players right across that pack. Um, you know, he's a, he's a real all-round kind of second row. Um, so... You know, as I was said, you know, we want to test ourselves against um, you know some of the best players and some of the best teams in the world, um, and uh, it's it's a brilliant opportunity for us this week to to see exactly where we're at, and uh, you know, hopefully, we'll get a good idea.